Hey, it's your girl, Emily Curl. We're hanging out with the Lumineers playing album covers, real or fake. Check it out. Well, since it is the holidays, I thought we could play a little game of album covers, real or fake, <laughs> holiday edition. Let's do it. <laughs> so we are going to dive right in. I'm going to show you an album cover and you tell me if you think this is a real album or if it's a fake album. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Let's show the first one. We have, we wish you a metal Xmas that's, and that's a headbanging new year. That looks real. Really? That's, what? Is, that's oh, real. <laughs> you're so confident. You think so? I think it's real. That one is in fact real. Okay. Yes. We're off to a good start. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Our second one. Oh, Christmas what? on Mars, a fantastical film. What does that say? It's kind of that explicit freak out between the <laughs> Is this real or fake? What do we think? That's so weird that I'm going to say, what do you, what you I'm going to say real. Yeah. I was going to say it's too weird to be fake. Yeah. What kind of, what kind of music do you think? It's got a lot of Martian curses on it. I don't know. Like I'm thinking uh, in the, the darker regions of someone's mind, like <laughs> dark metal. I don't even know. Ambient. I don't know. Like, <laughs> Y'all are both right. This is in fact real. It was a science fiction film and a soundtrack released in 2008 by the Flaming Lips. So Whoa, you guys are on a, a good roll. All right. Okay, here we go. Our next one up. Fake. We have Bobby Schmucker, it's A fake. Cowboy Christmas. That's fake. Fake. What? How are you so sure? Why do you think? <laughs> Bobby Schmucker? Uh, I, I don't want believe. a Lumineers Bobby Schmucker collab. <laughs> We're going to start a Bobby Schmucker rivalry. Uh, <laughs> that's a rookie photo. <laughs> yeah. That's a rookie photo. If, if it is real, he's got to work on his like. Album art. This is like, it's not this blending in. This is in fact real. No! I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, I'm, kidding. For us. I'm kidding. It's fake. It's okay. fake. Oh, <laughs> okay, let's show you our next one. This one's my personal favorite. We have Oof. William Hung, Hung for the Holidays. <laughs> I don't know if you'd go with that album title. I feel like that's like a producer's kid. I can't, it's hard to see how big the hmm. photo is. Um, I mean, that guy was probably trying to make some money. Going for the shock value. I'm going to say real. Yeah, I, I think it's real. This one is also real. Oh my gosh. This, game. this is William Hung, the ex American Idol contestant. So he released this album in 2004. So, a real album there. Um, okay, Christmas on Death Row. Is this real or is this fake? Whoa. I'm going real. <laughs> yeah, real. That's sick. This one is, in fact, real. Are you, Dude, have you guys missed this one? Yes. Five for five. <laughs> this was executive produced by Suge Knight, featured Snoop Dogg, released in 1996. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, let's throw up another one. We have Peter Mason, holiday songs to sing with children. It's creepy. What do we think about Peter Mason? I don't know. Either way, that does look very creepy. So, I'm hoping that's not real. It's so creepy. Yeah. It's probably real. Yeah. I'm saying fake. <laughs> it's actually fake. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're right. That was a little too creepy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have one more for you. Here we go. Last one. Is this real or fake? That is. I got to see the details <laughs> on that, but that looks very real looks to real me. Looks real to me. It's a half-eaten cookie. Yeah. <laughs> That's real really good. This is very real. This is life, Merry Christmas. Tell us a little bit about this song out now. Yeah, it's it's like one of our favorite artists, uh, Daniel Rodriguez. He was in a band called Elephant Revival that is no is no more, at least at the moment. And he started his solo career. And I met him at a show at Red Rocks, and I just found him to be like this very, you know, sage, wise, peaceful person that makes this beautiful music. He's, told me about his EP and I just listened to it with my son like every day for a year. I think that year was my top played song and songs on my, you know, end of the year recap. As far as like how the Christmas song came about, we try to do one every year for a charity, release a Christmas track and then put the money into a, into a charity. And I had him over my house and my wife had told me like, hey, this song that, it was a song that already existed. It was called, This Is Life. And it just went, this is life, this is life. And then trailed off and I had this instrumental part. My wife was like, he needs to sing like, Merry Christmas in this part. And I was like, okay, that might be a good idea, but never say that to him. Cause you're going to really insult him. Like you should never tell an artist, like you should make your song into a Christmas song. <laughs> you should song. do something else, yeah. <laughs> and um, she told him, a couple minutes into the hang and I was like, oh no. And then he's like, that's actually a good idea. And it was the middle of summer and he had band rehearsals and a show the next day. And he said, we tried it at the rehearsals and the show and it went over well. And it was like August. He's like, it's a, it's a Christmas hit, man. And so that was, that was supposed to be the end of it. And then um, he was sort of like, hey, do you and Jerry want to play on this? And we'll just kind of do a collaboration. And it went from there. And yeah, he was just so sweet about the whole thing. And I think we, we we really enjoyed his music, so it was kind of like a win-win of, you know, shining a spotlight on this great artist 
and raising some money for charity and, and doing a Christmas song that has some heart. It's not like your cookie cutter Christmas. It has a lot of, lot of uh, feeling to it. Yeah. yeah, and giving us all something to enjoy for sure in this holiday season. So thank you guys so much again for being here, for your time, for playing our game, and congratulations again on Brightside, the album out now. Yeah, more importantly, we didn't get anything wrong. What's our, uh, I, we get a prize? Or no, what? <laughs> that was pretty You insane. get all the glory, all the prizes. <laughs> we get all those real albums in the yeah. mail, yeah. That'd be awesome. <laughs> well, we'll send them to you guys yeah, next yeah. time for sure. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching our game with the Lumineers. Make sure you check out their Christmas single. This is Life, Merry Christmas, out now on iHeartRadio, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.